As you guys know, DJI just came out with their Mic 2 system. I have been so excited for this product to come out. I just bought it, it just arrived. I have been working on a very detailed review of this product and comparing it to Rode's newest system and everything. And I've run across two problems with this mic system that are so big, I don't even want to continue with this review. One of them seems like a hardware issue, the way it was physically built, and the other seems like a massive software issue that hopefully could be fixed with a software update. Now, if I can figure out what's going on and how to fix this, I would love to finish my review, and I would love to recommend this product, but right now, this is a massive deal breaker. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So right now, you're listening to me on one of these DJI microphone transmitters here. I'm going to plug in my Sennheiser MKE-2 lav microphone into this. This lav mic is a very professional, expensive microphone. It costs more than the entire DJI system here. So I like using these mics. And this is very strange. So I'm gonna plug this in here. So as you can hear, the lav microphone is working perfectly with this unit. I am now going to turn this unit off and I'm now going to turn on the second unit here and we're gonna try the exact same thing. So I'm going to plug in the exact same lav mic into this. So let me show you what it takes to get this microphone to work with this transmitter here. Check, check, let me see. Check, 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 nope, that's not it. Check, 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 check. There we go. So right now it is working. I've had to pull it out to where there's no pressure at all. Watch how easy it is to get this done. So I was sure I just had a defective unit because it works fine with this one, it doesn't work with this one but I found other people online that have the exact same problem, which is absolutely nuts. Now, to be clear, I've been testing this with DJI's lav mic. It works fine on both of these, but the fact that the professional lav only works on one and not the other is absolutely crazy. Now, for me personally, this is a deal breaker in itself because I prefer using these professional lavaliers, but you might be saying to yourself, well, it's not a big deal to me because I don't own that microphone. I'm never gonna buy that microphone and the DJI microphones work fine. Well. Hold on a minute. Listen to the audio that this DJI Mic 2 system just recorded while I was doing an audio test. Three, two, one. The, this is the DJI test, and this is the built-in one DJI mic. Right, we are now doing an audio test between the built-in microphone on the. We are now doing a test with the built-in microphone test versus the wired microphone I have plugged into the other unit. Can you hear the difference? Which one is the wired microphone into the other unit? Can you hear the difference? Which one is the wired microphone into the other unit? I have no clue what is happening in this video. I have been using microphones for over a decade now. I have never seen or heard anything like this before. The audio literally came out of the receiver just like that. And even though I'm recording with one microphone on the left channel and one on the right channel, those crazy artifacts were recorded on both channels. This is baked into the audio that came into my camera. Now, when I heard this, I was so confused. I plugged both of these transmitters into my computer. I recovered the internal recorded audio from both of these transmitters, and the audio sounds perfect recorded internally. We are now doing a test with the built-in microphone versus the wired lav that I have plugged into the other unit. Can you hear a difference? Which one is your favorite? I'm going to send this footage over to DJI, see if they have an explanation and maybe a simple fix. If I can figure out a fix, I would love to finish this review. But as it stands right now, these two issues are too major to recommend this microphone system. Hopefully I'll have an update soon. If you're a photographer, make sure you check out our photography contests that are going on right now. Currently, we only have a few days left on our architectural photography contest. So if you've ever taken a picture of a building or a home, inside or outside, submit your work. It's totally free. We're giving away $1,500 in cash to the winners as well as free tutorials. And the famous architectural photographer, Mike Kelly himself, will be the guest judge for this critique. Check it all out at fstoppers.com contests.